Okay, now we'll begin. So you might have already found your comfortable position. You might still be settling in, finding what you need, how much space you need, what feels right. And we're gonna give that some more time. So our settling period, our settling experience is really important. We're settling into our space that we're gonna be in, in a certain amount of stillness if we can for the next 25 minutes. So check in that you are warm enough. Check in that your body feels supported enough, but not too much. So it's like that Goldilocks position. And when you feel you've found the position that's just right for you, just closing the eyes or softening the gaze and perhaps take a nice deep breath. <sighs> and with that exhale, it's as though we send a signal to our body and to brain. Now's the time for rest. Weight of the world just drops away from our shoulders. And we'll lay on the earth, arriving into our practice of yoga nidra. And maybe, or maybe not, where you are, you can hear the sound of the rain outside. Now let's just take our awareness, just tiptoe it into the outside world. So you might imagine in your mind, just tiptoeing out the front door of the house. Maybe we're not even stepping out, we're just opening the door and glancing out. But rather than with sight, with sound, what do you notice on the sounds in the distance for you? So like I said, it could be the rain, maybe wind, <clears throat> maybe you're near to a road and there's the hum of traffic. So I'm not searching too hard, but just noticing those furthest sounds. And then it's like we start to just gently reel that awareness in towards us. So maybe that comes to inside the house, the flat, the space that you're in. Then we reel it in a little bit further and we bring it into the actual room that you're in. And then we reel the awareness in further still to the belly and the rise and fall as we breathe. And each inhale breath welcomes in a new moment to sink into our practice. Each exhale breath is perhaps an opportunity to soften or maybe an opportunity to release any distraction. So if you can, just for a couple of moments, just follow the rise and fall of the breath. If it feels right, you might take a couple of deeper breaths, really breathe down into the belly, up and out through nose or mouth. 
And then you may just allow the breath to settle into its natural rhythm with awareness. And each time we might notice that attention is reeled away, can we gently draw it back in? So we've paid our attention, we've given our awareness to what exists outside of our space. This is time for inside of our space. And we've just gone past the festival or the Sabbath of Imbo. And this can be translated to in the belly of the mother. So this is about the uh, seeds that are perhaps starting to be sown and grow, rebirth as we move closer towards spring. So our practice is going to lead us around the body, always returning to the belly area and a deep breath. So remember that is no right or wrong. This is a journey that is unique to you. There'll be small pauses. Maybe that's an opportunity to just allow practice to settle. Perhaps that's an opportunity to take a deep breath, re-arrive. So taking awareness to the belly button. And down into the lower belly. And here as we breathe, we might feel almost as if there's a gentle flame being fanned or ignited. Might be a glow. Maybe an orange or yellow, or even a white glow. We might take this on our journey with us. So if kind of spreading this warmth around the body, sharing this rest. And from here, I'm gonna move over to the right hip, into the right groin space, around to the right buttock, and all the way down the right thigh, front and back. the right kneecap in the back of the knee, all the way down the right lower leg, around the ankles, across the top of the foot, into the heel, the sole of the right foot, and a moment just to touch our awareness on each toe, the big toe, the second, third, the fourth and the fifth toe. Our awareness comes back to the belly button as perhaps we take a deep breath. Travels to the left hip, into the left groin space, around to the left buttock, and all the way down the left thigh, front and back, maybe swirling or wrapping its way around or just filling up this space with its energy. The kneecap and the back of the knee, the left lower leg filling up this space. Gliding across the top of the left foot, touching on the heel, across the sole of the left foot, and each toe, left big toe, second, third, fourth, and fifth. We return back to the belly button as we take a deep breath. Just stoking that fire, that warmth, that glow in the belly. And perhaps, we can find an awareness of this lower part of the body, almost like we were drawing just a really delicate line 
from the belly button out to the right hand side, round the back of the body and to the left side, back to the belly button. And taking our awareness down into the groin space, the glutes, all the way down the legs to the very tips of the toes. Right leg, left leg, right foot, left foot, resting. Just taking a moment for the lower part of our body to absorb rest, warmth, this glow, energy, however you want to see or feel this. And then we bring our awareness back to the belly button as we take a breath. And from here, we journey upwards towards the center of the chest. Across to the right collarbone, the right shoulder, the right armpit, and down the right upper arm. Into the right elbow and inner elbow, just swirling down the lower arm, all around the right wrist. The back of the right hand, the tip of the thumb, the first, second, third and fourth finger. And then our awareness just rests here in the palm of the right hand. Perhaps as a gentle curl of the tips of the fingers. Perhaps it's almost like our glow or our warmth is just being gently held in the palm of the right hand. Our awareness shifts back to the belly button as we take a deep breath. This awareness, this energy rises up towards the heart space and comes over into the left collarbone, the left shoulder, the left armpit, down the left upper arm, left elbow and inner elbow, and gently caresses the lower arm, all around the wrists, the back of the left hand, left hand thumb, first, second, third, and fourth finger. And once again, perhaps we can gently just imagine that we hold this glow, this rest. It could even be holding our intention gently in the palm of the left hand. We don't need to squeeze it too tight, for fear of it getting away from us. We just recognize it's there. And awareness returns back to the belly button with a deep breath. And perhaps you can, perhaps not, perhaps somewhat. Can you be aware of both arms? 
So from shoulder, armpit, down the arms, right into the tips of the fingers, the thumb tips, both arms just resting together. Wherever they are, however they're positioned, just resting in this practice of yoga nidra. Maybe there's a gentle glow or feeling of warmth or just a nice kind of fuzzy feeling of relaxation. Perhaps we visualize that uh, parts of the body are filling up with a glow, a color or a warmth. So there is no right or wrong. And then we return our awareness to the belly button with a nice deep breath. <clears throat> and from here, we're gonna once again rise upwards, past the heart space and into the dip of the throat space. From here, our awareness or energy splits to right and left as it moves round each side of the neck and comes to the back of the neck. It rises up, back of the head, past the crown of the head and down into the forehead. The right eyebrow, the left eyebrow the right temple, the left temple, the space between the brows, the right eye and the left eye, the right ear, the left ear, the right nostril, the left nostril, the tip of the nose, the right cheek and the left cheek, the upper lip and the lower lip, And just tracing our awareness along the line of the jaw. Awareness touches on the chin. And the whole of our head and our face settles and softens. Maybe there's a glow, a warmth, or just that feeling of allowing softness into this space the whole of the head and the face. And our awareness returns back to the belly button and a deep breath. And from here, we travel over to the right side of the body, belly, waist, right rib cage, and then around into the back of the right body, lower back, rib cage, and maybe just starting to rise into the shoulder blade. And awareness comes back to the belly button with a deep breath. We start to take this energy and awareness over to the left side, belly, expanding into ribs. Round into the back body, rib cage, just gently climbing up towards the shoulder blade. And this torso area becomes filled with our glow, our warmth, whatever we wanna liken it to, just this energy of relaxation. On your next few breaths in and out, as you breathe in, you take in that fresh air, that fresh moment. And 
And as you breathe out, it's like you're spreading or fanning this fire or spreading this awareness or this glow. And it fills the whole of the upper body. Comes past the rib cage, the breasts, just gently up into the throat space, down into the belly button, around the front, the back, and the sides. Inhale into the moment, exhale. Just spreading this awareness and this energy of rest. And as your breaths continue, this energy or awareness spreads further. It starts to trickle down the legs, up into the shoulders, and down into the arms, into the head and the face. And we start to find an awareness of the whole of the body here, just as best we can the feet, the legs, the arms, the hands, the head, the torso, the upper body, the lower body, all resting as one, connected. Awareness travels back to the belly button with a deep breath. And here, an opportunity to plant our own seed of intention. So if there's a word or you might be familiar with Sankalpa, intention, affirmation, doesn't matter what we call it. What's important is what's behind it. So the, the belief. And perhaps our intention is as simple as I breathe deeply into my belly. Just repeating that in your mind, if you have one, if this works for you. And on the next exhale, just releasing that. So it doesn't mean that we're letting go of it. It just means that we're trusting in it. We're letting go to the universe rather than grasping. And in a moment, we're going to start to move our awareness outwards. So at the beginning of our practice, we began far reaching and then moving inwards. Now, we go the opposite way. So first of all, an awareness of the breath and the belly. Awareness of the body in the space that it's in, in the position that it's in. We let go. And the awareness expands out into the actual room that you're in. I let go a little bit further into the building. And maybe if we want to, we just open that door and take a little peek into the outside world. It might be an open close kind of, ooh. 
And just reminding ourselves that we're here, we're safe, we're warm in our practice of yoga nidra. And in a moment, I'll count from 10 to zero. And you might continue to expand your awareness. If you're a very imaginative visual person, you might go further and further, you know, all the way out into the cosmos. You might just absorb a couple more moments of rest. There's no rush to move, to do anything at the end of the practice. If you can give me a little emoji or a wave to let me know you're okay, that's great. But don't feel that you have to get up straight away. We do all of this really nice and slowly. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. This practice of yoga nidra is complete. Perhaps you take a deeper breath. If you're ready to rise, you might have a wiggle of the fingers and the toes. And maybe you roll to one side if you're not there already. Maybe you come to a seated position or just suggestions, not instructions. And when you do decide to kind of fully leave your practice and your position, just perhaps sitting nice and tall, taking a breath, just having a little look around your space, regrounding. And you might plant the feet to the earth, just take a breath, ground through the feet. So take it nice and steadily. For now, maybe you pop your hands on the heart space or you join the palms together. And you thank yourself for being here, body, breath, mind, perhaps spirit or soul, if that's your belief. And I thank you for joining me for this practice of Yoga Nidra. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you get a good night's sleep. The light and dark in me honors the light and dark within you. Namaste.